about density. Have you ever talked about density in school? Yeah. Okay, so you understand that it's it's the amount of stuff, amount of mass in a set volume, which is just a space. And so if you had two things that took up the same amount of space, but one was heavier, it would be the denser of the two objects. So it would be like picking up um, like a tennis ball and a baseball. The baseball is going to be heavier because the tennis ball is hollow, so it's less dense. And that's what we're going to learn about. We're going to learn about the different um, juices and their how their densities, like how they relate to each other. So pick two juices, any two juices, and this water. This is just colored water. These two juices. All right. So which one do you think is going to be denser? Yeah. This one. And if something is denser, which of the um, which of the where how is it going to um, which one will be on bottom? That's what I'm trying to ask. The denser one will be on the bottom. Okay. You're right. Why do you think it's denser? Because <laughs> it's darker. <laughs> hey, you gotta you gotta have some room. Uh, reason for never mind. I, I don't know. Huh? Rationale. Rationale. Whatever. So you can go ahead and just drip that in. And it's not as important on this first one, the one we think we goes goes on the bottom. And you can keep doing that. But when we add other things in, it'll keep us from getting bubbles in there. Because if you pour two uh, liquids on top of each other and you expect them to layer and you just pour them together, they're just going to mix. Let's see what's going on. All right, you can do a couple more until we have a solid layer, and then we'll do the next one. Can I do it? We have all these cups. This is great. So that's going to be right side. Now, just do the same thing with the other one. Is that a thick enough layer? I don't think so. Well, it's going to take a really long time to do that. Yeah, yeah. So with this first layer, we can pour. But the next one, we'll go ahead. We'll have to do that. Can I have one? And then we can both be doing it just like that. So, you don't have any reason, so uh, you didn't have any particular reason why you picked this, so let's, let's talk through what's different about the two juices. So, what, what, are, what are some differences that, that you, um, is it going to work? Because they're both grape juice? Uh -huh. They may just mix together. That would be awfully awkward, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, so, assuming that they will separate. So will you do a third layer, or just two? Well, and this one, and then we'll do another, okay. we'll do two other ones, and have it form our layer, order that way. Are they combining? I think they mix, because they're both grape juice. <laughs> so... That's great. <laughs> so you yes. found out, I guess, that grape is grape. Grape is grape. <laughs> whether whether matter it's what color it is, white grape or red grape, it's still grape. All right. So now, in this next cup, let's do ju two juices that we know are not the same. Not that we just think aren't the same, because we saw how well that worked out for us. All righty. Um, so we'll do orange juice. And this is cranberry juice. Have you ever had your cranberry juice? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. Me too. <laughs> if, if you'll squirt them on the sides, it goes right down the middle. It'll. And I have less chance of mixing. Okay. So, which
which one do you think is denser? Orange juice. Orange juice. Okay, so let's just go ahead and pour that in on the bottom. Because it seems thicker. So we have a reason for this one. That's a good place to start. Um, So we picked that the orange juice would be on the bottom because it looks thicker. And if it's thicker and takes up the same amount of space, then it's denser. So if we just squirt it on the side like this, there's a less chance for them to mix. And the closer you can squirt it to the actual level of where the liquid is, okay. it doesn't give gravity as much of a chance. So it looks like it's going to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Hey, this one's working. That's always encouraging. What happens if you're a scientist and you do experiments all the time? Do they always work? Nope. <laughs> but that's why you keep doing them. Yes, that's why it's. What do you mean? What do you mean it doesn't work? Well, it doesn't have the. It doesn't have the. Uh, well, the very purpose of an experiment is to um, explore an idea, and I guess as long as you're exploring, it's not a failed. It's not a failure. You're just not exploring what you thought you were exploring. So, you're exploring density, right? Yes. And But this wasn't helpful in deciding their densities because they mixed, so I would call that a failure. But clearly you wouldn't because you're wearing your... your but it's not a failure, it's a lesson that you learned. Mm -hmm. so, so science is about learning lessons. What works and what doesn't work. So Would that be correct? The now we can do the water. Where do you think the water is gonna get? Oh yeah, they just color one, don't they? Never mind. Um No, they use different grapes. Red grapes, white grapes. Mm -hmm. Different kinds of grapes. Uh, so do you think it'll go on the top? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Y'all can't see it from the top, but... Yeah, we can. Oh, you can't Yeah, we can see. We, we're at an angle. We can see. Mm -hmm. That's really cool the way it, like, spread out. <laughs> it does. And that's really cool. If I if I let, if I were to squeeze it really hard, it would go down here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Right, it, goes up. it goes down and then it like yo-yos back up. That's pretty cool. So the I was reading about this and the um, the what they said the like caused the differences caused them to separate out like that was the different kinds of, or the different amounts of sugar in them. So like water doesn't have any sugar. Because it's said that that was the biggest factor in the densities. Because you would expect with orange juice having pulp in it to sink down to the bottom. But this has, in one eight ounce serving, it has 23 grams of sugar. Whereas the cranberry juice has, in one eight ounce serving, 35 grams of sugar, and it went down to the bottom. And the water clearly doesn't have any sugar in it. So if we were to add one of the grape juices, we can do the white grape juice. Actually, this one's going to show up better. Come through, look at your two white, your two grape juices, and figure out why they mix. So let's figure out why they mix because I don't know. You can pick yours up and look at. We're looking at the nutrition facts. This one's 39. Grape juice from concentrate, water, grape juice, grape juice. What about your white grape juice from concentrate? 38, 39. 
just so similar. They're so close together. So let's find the one with the bigger gap. This one has 39. So this one is farther away from the others. So what was the cranberry? The cranberry was 35. Okay. I don't think that's going to be enough to make it a layer, though. You don't think so? No. Do any milk in the fridge? Well, I got some half and half. wonder what that would do. So where do you think that would go? Ranch dressing. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Mm. Dr. Pepper? Yeah. I don't know, it's carbonated. It's all, it almost looked drinkable until <laughs> ranch dressing. Well, it was going to be ranch dressing. So you just need like a little bit of milk, right? Grams. 12 grams. So if. So where should it be? Where should that go? If the milk's got 12 grams, where should it be? So this right. grape juice that we're adding right now has 39 or something like that. And you're right, I don't think it had enough to form a separate layer. So where's the milk going to go? Under the water. Under the water? Under and the water. That'll be interesting to see if you can get it under the water. On top of the orange juice. So we can rinse out our pipettes. Oops. Actually, I don't know where I'm going with this water. In the oh. sink. sink. Okay. <laughs> that was enjoyable. All right, here's your pipette. And we will see what happens. Looks like it went in between the water and the... I don't know, but it's it's going to curdle because of the acid <laughs> in the juice, and I don't know what that's going to mean. It's probably going to sink because it's solid. I don't know. I don't, I don't really want to stay around to figure that one out. So do you want to try to put them in order and see if they won't mix, mm -hmm. or just... Do you just think they're going to mix and you don't even really want to try, or... You want to try? Alright. So we'll do, what, do you remember which one's the densest? Uh, or I guess we can look at the nutrition facts, that works too. This one's the densest. So, just save time and pour it. Because honestly, I don't know, I don't remember which one of these is the <coughs> right, great. And then, we saw that these mix together, so we don't have to add that one because it's not going to form its own layer. And then next was, which one of these? Okay. Yeah. Cranberry. That's my new love to go over this too. And the cranberry juice is this one? No, I think that's no, grape. that's grape juice. That mm -hmm. smells like grape juice. The cranberry is the one you made to the middle. That smells like grape juice. That's lighter, it's cranberry. This is cranberry juice. Well, I didn't know if it was the one that had been mixed with the, okay. with the grape. So now, we may not be able to notice the difference between the layers here because they're so similar in color. I don't know, can you all over there see, see the difference in the layers? Are you done with these two? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Let's look. I don't 
still see separate layers, and that may be because the color is so similar or because the sugar content is so similar, but not seeing a difference there. So now we can do our orange juice, which we know will make a different layer because the sugar content is different enough and the color is different enough. Actually, the, we're going to mix the juice in the drink anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Just go ahead. I don't need this one anymore. They're kind of made separate layers. Mm. No? Come on. They're so close that it's not. So, like a V8 might be an interesting one to try because it's going to have a, depending on what you get, the sugar content. Uh -huh. And the part of, but then you, and you don't know what, like, the, all the different particles from the, how that would affect it, you know, from like having, because it's not, it's not really, it's not a juice, it's a, it's got, like, pulp from the fruit or the. So is pulp going to make it sink or float? Well, float, right? Because it's it has air, like it's not a dense material. It's like if you put uh, an orange in the water, it's going to float. But if you put, what is it, a pear? No. Ask me, if you put a piece of wood in water, what does it do? It floats. So what's pulp? Oh, nice. Float. It squeeze really hard. Wow. Yes? Oh. <laughs> You know, I'm a limited science knowledge person. Well, that is spectacular. <laughs> she got, we got pulp stuck in, down in the end of oh. that. <laughs> well, here's another one. Ta-da! <laughs> you having fun over there? Always. So his we worked a lot better. Well, it's faster than ours. Our we will have more clear layers, but his way was faster. Oh, I have hope for the too. <laughs> so you could, you know, this is another one of those that you could mix them all together and then come back an hour later and they would separate out. Mm -hmm. It just take a while. And now we can do the water. <coughs> oh, the water's being used, so we'll do orange juice for a little longer. All right, that's a good layer. Now we can go ahead and do the water. they all mixed together, but I bet, like my mom was saying, if we left it and came back to it after we did our next experiment, it would have separated out so. Very good. Um, Maybe that's what will be on camera. That is the difference compared to ours, which was not so successful. But yours eventually would look like that. Ours eventually will separate, <coughs> separate out and look like that. So. That's how that works. So we know that sugar is a big factor in how dense a drink is. Which makes it go in the bottom. Go team. So have you ever made ice cream like this? Yeah. You have? No. In a plastic no. bag? No. no. Okay, so first thing we do is... I confuse myself. Yes, follow the recipe. Okay, so I open the small bag and we're going to pour a half a cup of half and half or you can use whip cream, whipping cream but we're using half and half today because it's healthier. It's not as fat. <clears throat> You 
Teaspoon, so we're just going to do a little half of a, this one. Why do we use vanilla? To make it For flavor, yes. So we tasted vanilla? Yes. Doesn't taste quite as good as what you think it's going to until you put sugar. sugar. Yes. Or even if you just dilute it, right? No, it's still pretty bitter. Yeah, don't try, don't try this at home. Don't try drinking vanilla at home. It will not have the same effect as you think it's going also to. Also, don't try eating cinnamon at home, like my boys did. <laughs> half a teaspoon of cinnamon and one of them. Half a teaspoon, of tablespoon of cinnamon. I thought it was half a teaspoon. Like, it was not much at all. But it dried out, it dries out your mouth. The cinnamon challenge. Oh, okay. okay, and I'm gonna, this, this calls for two and a half teaspoons. We're gonna do a little heaping tablespoon, which is a little bit more than that. How many teaspoons are in a tablespoon? Three. Okay, so it's a little bit more, so it'll be a little sweeter. Okay, so now you are ready to mix. You want to squeeze over your out or not? I don't know that it makes. Squeeze out a little bit of it. It'll be easier to eat. I think when we do it that way. I guess if you want at least a little bit of it. Yeah, you want a little bit of air because you want to be able to eat it. And if you don't have a little bit of air, it'll all be stuck to the sides. So, mix, mix, mix. So, what's next? Are we done? Is it ice cream? Nope. nope. What are we missing? Not cold. The ice. Cold. <laughs> okay, so can we just put ice? Oh, you could. You just take it over. Will it work? Just a really, really, really long time. Okay. Get my ice frozen. Well, it's normally, you know, what ice is. Frozen water. Yes. Okay. So, now take your big bag. Okay, so the last thing that we are going to do is add our salt, and the recipe called for kosher salt, but I had some ice cream salt, so we're just using regular ice cream salt. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, so it's, oh, that's where the six tablespoons. Six tablespoons. Oh, that's what it calls for. I don't know that we need that many though. I think we're going to do that. Mix it up a little bit and then be sure that your ice cream is sealed and put your ice cream in. I have a 
hole. Okay. You have a hole? Are you leaking? Or do you need another bag? Maybe. Did you put your pencil through that bag? Nope, but I do have a hole. Okay. Do you pour it in there? Here, just put the bag? put it. Just put it in another bag. No. Do what? Did you put the bag in there? Yes, you put the bag in there. What would happen if you poured it in there? It's not right. It, then, then you would have nasty ice cream. <laughs> You saw the ice cream. Yeah. Yep. Because? Yeah. 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 Huh? And he said it depends on the religion. Is that what he said? I don't know. Kosher is. Uh, yeah, that, is that is probably what he said. He is a, he is a science. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, so now, okay, now you gotta make ice cream. There is so you gotta get your ice up around your ice cream. And we're gonna see if I put enough uh, rock salt in there. Mm -hmm. You can also, also do this in a coffee pan. And if you do it on a coffee pan, you don't have to shake it. You just roll it around on the floor. Oh, or two pot. Well, you can put a Ziploc bag in a coffee pan, mm -hmm. and that works as well. This is a little, this way everybody can do that. Right. 